Thanks for having me here today. We're going to be talking about how to create a customer world view for your organization. Maya Angelou says, people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. And so if you make somebody feel less than they are, if you make people feel like they're not valuable, like they're not important, then they will always remember that. I want to give you an example. My favorite example of a great customer worldview comes from an airline, believe it or not. Now, I used to live in Singapore. If anybody has been on Singapore Airlines, they know what a good customer experience is like. They would train their people to be part of that experience. They're not just there to serve you. They're not just there for safety, the flight attendants. They're actually there as part of the experience. I love movies. I love watching movies. I love going to movies. I want to be a film director. I actually had a conversation with a flight attendant once on Singapore Airlines because I was traveling pretty frequently and I would get to know them. And I was telling her that I had been accepted to film school, but I never went. A couple months later, I get tickets in the mail to a premiere for a movie, a red carpet premiere in Singapore. I remember the movie, it was Memoirs of Vacation. They didn't expect anything, they didn't sell anything, they just knew somehow that I would appreciate this experience. How did they know that? Because she must have made note of this. She may have, must have understood that this would be something that would be interesting to me. So after our conversation, she went and recorded it in their database somewhere. And they recognized that I would be very interested in going to this movie. I will never fly any other airline if I can help it than Singapore Airlines. Unfortunately, I no longer live in Singapore and I'm relegated to other less interesting airlines. A lot of people, companies say, I focus on customer service. Is that enough? I can say no, it's not, because what you're really looking at is, are we giving a great customer experience? What's the difference? Well, there's a couple of differences. First of all, great customer spirit experience is about anticipating the needs of the customer and meeting them before they expect it. Another great company who anticipates the needs is Disney. Disney is very focused on having a great experience. They push their people to provide a not only consistent experience, but a fantastic experience. However, according to psychologists, happiness is based on what is the last thing you remember in an experience. So, let's say you come out of a Disney park, you had a great day, your kids are happy, you're happy, everybody feels exhausted, but wow, was that experience, and then you can't find your car. And you wander around for hours looking for your car and everybody's upset and all this. Is that a quick way to ruin that experience? Because that's the last thing you're going to remember is that feeling. So Disney thought of this. They have arranged their parking so that when you come in, they can tell where you park based on what time you arrive. So if they see somebody walking around looking for their car, they have trained their people to come out and ask you what time you got here. If you say 10 o'clock, they say, oh, okay, you're in section whatever. So they can tell you where your car is and they can walk you to your car to make sure that you don't have your experience ruined by this experience. That's thinking and anticipating. That's not just because good customer experience. That is creating a worldview of your customer. Take a few minutes. Think about your business. Think about all of the possible ways that you could reduce the value of the experience your customer is having. And then think to yourself, how many of them are you already doing?